peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Hello, what Abby. Hi. Hello, Ryan. Hey. Hi. So we have three trainers to show you. One of them is is uh, a lot of stuff. So let's take a look. There's some cool things in here. First up is this blue Xbox One. Is it a S or an X? It's an S and it's a deep blue special Deep edition. blue Xbox One S, but no controller, right? No controller. That controller did not come with it. That was one we already had. Then everything in this box, there's a PST Slim, an original Xbox 360, which we don't normally take. There's a Splatoon poster. There's this thing, Splatoon stickers. There's a couple controllers. Super Mario Odyssey pin, which is mine, and then the Playing with Power Guide, Yoshi's Woolly World poster, and another Splatoon poster, an empty box for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and then there's this Skyward Sword art cell, 944 out of 1,000, the Edge joystick for the NES Classic, there's a blue 3DS, a Star Fox patch, a Splatoon hat, and then Harvest Moon Wonderful Life. Metal Slug X, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Spyro You're the Dragon, Driver, and Tony Hawk 2. Rare Replay, Rocket League, Forza Horizon 3, Mud Runner, another Mud Runner, NASCAR Heat, Madden yeah, 18, really Mega so Man. Gonna Abby's going to play Mud Runner. Which one? Um, the American one. A Sprintier? What is that? A sp Sprintier's game? Um, or American Wilds. He said that basically, like, you're on a map. Oh. He said basically you're on a map, and you go from point A to point B, and there's no road. And, like, you're hauling stuff, and, like, you'll run into a ditch, and you have to, like, get out and, like, get yourself out of the ditch. And it sounds like, like a lot of <laughs> stupid fun to be had, so I'm going to play it. <laughs> and then we have Puyo Puyo Tetris, Super Bomberman R, Starsky and Hutch. ATV Off-Road Fury, Atari Flashback Classics Volume 1 and Volume 2, Bubsy, The Woolly Strike Back, Super Mario Sunshine with a printed cover, Animal Crossing, 18-Wheeler, Crazy Taxi, and then some Wii U games here, Star Fox Zero, Lego City Undercover, Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD, this is the first print with the gold cover, Jeopardy, Rayman Legends, Captain Toad, Smash Brothers, Yoshi's Woolly World, Mario Kart 8, Lego Jurassic World, Nintendo Land, and Lego The Hobbit. And then there's a Wavebird with the receiver and a Nunchuck, two Wii Motion Plus controllers, red and black. There was a GameCube 59 block memory card, Twilight Princess for the Wii, Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, which is a Malaysia or Saudi Arabia copy. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Um, Master Qu or, yeah, Master Quest. Splinter Cell Double Agent. Mario Kart Wii. Uh, Wii Play Disc Only. Kids par Kids Sports Party and Wii Sports. So I hope that that. Uh, Skyward Sword works. That's very weird. But it's got a North American rating. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to try this one. Got a package in the mail today which included the Turok 1 and 2 double pack from Limited Run Games. Uh, pretty cool set. I don't think... I'm pretty sure this is not like the special edition. I think I just got the regular like double pack of it. But still, very glad to have that very cool piece for the Switch collection. Um, I remember playing, I think, the first Turok when I was a kid, and I didn't really like it. I thought the controls were bad and the graphics were not great, but it is kind of one of like those classic N64 type games. Like, people always want Turok whenever they're coming in to get a system, so very glad to add that one to the collection. We got another little trade in here Call of Duty Ghost Harden Edition. Very cheap. Royal Rumble, Raw, and WrestleMania arcade game. And then we got this, which is pretty cool. This is just box and cartridge for Final Fantasy III. So no poster, no, manu no manuals, no map. 
Um, and then no cardboard insert, but it does have the original receipt from Game Crazy. It's not Game Crazy. It says Game it Crazy says right game there. It says Game Crazy, but it has... That's definitely... Well, that says Game Trader, but... Yeah, but it is Game Trader. It's just... That's from 97. Yeah. That's from oh. one of these. Oh, no, this Game Crazy receipt is for Final Fantasy III. This one is for Super WrestleMania. He paid $55 for this, and he paid $20 for that one. And look, <laughs> there's also this. They printed it out for him because there's no manual included with it. It has the instructions manual <laughs> done by Game Trader. Which, Game Trader is still there. And he was like... In the mall. Yeah, he was telling me, he's like, oh, I don't remember where I got it from. I just know it came from Game Trader Mall 205. Because that's, there's a mall down there. It's called Mall 205. He didn't say Game Trader. He just said Mall 205. Mm. But yeah, it says using the controller. And it has all the instructions on how to play the game and what you're doing and everything. So I'm going to leave it with the box. It's pretty cool. Somebody will like that. And he, he's okay with the receipt staying with it, which is what I'm going to leave it with. So. Abby and I have stayed late once again today. Got a bunch of tags printed. And that is for... What is that for? Is it... My that's printing? not this, is it? No, it's everything oh. in those tubs over there. That's for everything in these two boxes. And then also all of these Nintendo Powers here. And then I just did a little spreadsheet that includes that stuff, that stuff, all this stuff and then everything in this tub. So we're gonna <clears throat> get that one imported and done tomorrow. And we've been working on doing some orders. some more orders for you guys. Looks yeah. like we have we one, two, done. three, four, five. We Looks like we have- to get back to the people who are um, via email. Yeah, so these five here ready to go. Are you doing one more? I'm doing, yeah. Okay, one more and then we can go. Um, so we're getting close to being done. Um, like we mentioned yesterday, I think it was, we're going to be getting back to the people who emailed us last just because Instagram and Facebook is what we are used to using more when it comes to like doing online orders and everything. So we're going through those first and then we're going to be looking at all the email orders after that. That pile of strategy guys needs to go as well. That okay. sold during the, from the sale. And, uh, of course, we have all the other trade-ins and stuff that are, that are just piling up. And uh, once all the online orders are done, then we're going to be able to get through all of this stuff and uh, get some more stuff out. So I also wanted to talk a little bit about our idea for the next live stream sale. Um, the way we did it last time was too chaotic. Um, we, we had so many different things that we were dealing with. We had strategy guides, handheld systems, games for everything. And it was, it, it was too much. We did a three, three hour live stream. It shouldn't result in a week's worth of work. So in order to kind of make it easier and simplify it, what we're going to be doing with the next live sale is, and hopefully we're going to be doing them a little bit more often, but what we're going to do is focus on one system at a time. One or two. So we'll be like, okay, today's live stream sale is going to be PS2 games. And that's all we will sell during that. And it will just make it easier for us. It'll hopefully make it easier for you guys. So you're not like, you know, you're contacting us like, oh, I bought one switch game, two game boy color games and a original Xbox game. Like it's just easier if, it's all just one system, and you're like, okay, here's the five PS2 games that I ordered. Simple. And uh, doing it that way will also allow us to do it more often, which is what we would like to do. The lives That last live stream sale we just did went really, really well. We did a ton of sales with that, and you guys got some good deals. And that's what we're trying to do. So we're hoping that by changing it to just being one system per sale it'll make everything simpler for us which in turn means we can do it more often which means you know getting more games sold to you guys so we don't know exactly when we're going to do the next live stream sale but uh we, st we have to finish up with all this stuff first but uh yeah so if you guys have any suggestions for which system you want to do first 
Let us know in the comments down below. I know there were some systems we didn't get to in the last live stream sale just because of time and everything. Um, so I wouldn't expect you guys to be like, oh, I want to do Wii first. You know, I would expect maybe like NES, Super Nintendo, something yeah, like mean, that. We can always do like Wii, Wii U, and Switch. Like we, those are like systems that we don't have a whole lot in. Or we could be like, oh, PS1 and PS2. Yeah, we, we can stuff. we can group things, but we can't be like today's live stream sale is PS2, Xbox 360, and Game Boy Color or something like that. Like it's not gonna work. It needs to be something related. Like maybe we can do one that's all just Sega stuff. We don't have to do one that's just Sega Genesis. We could throw in Game Gear, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, Dreamcast, because those those libraries are not super super big. So it would be easy enough for us to do that. But we couldn't do, like, NES and Super Nintendo. There's way too many. So those would have to be one or the other. But eventually, hopefully, we'll get through everything. We can just continue to rotate them and keep doing the sales. Because as you guys know, we get new stuff in every single day. So if we do a Super Nintendo live stream sale, you know, one month, and then we cycle through everything, we can go back and do another Super Nintendo one because we're going to have new stuff. So what, whatever you guys want to see first, <clears throat> just let us know in the comments down below. Abby and I are going to get some more stuff finished here and then head home for the night. We're still watching Better Call Saul and we are loving it. It's so good.